So the loadout which I've been using is a simple double linear fusion rifle set up on two people. So you've got your special, you've got your heavy linear fusion rifle. Both of those you're going to be using with particle deconstruction. And then you have the third person running a divinity. The person with the divinity tells the other two people what they should kill. Then the thing just dies a few shots later. It's really simple. You don't need any complicated strategy or builds. You just divinity something and then it dies. Now, the class setup and what you'll run along with these five weapons, which I've mentioned, really varies on the GM that you're attempting. So, rather than bore you with a 15-minute guide for each GM, where you're going to be looking at every single section of the GM, I'm sure most of you, if you're doing GMs, you can get through most of the strike. So, I'll put down my class recommendations, I'll make sure that there's weapon loadouts there, and I'll put a little bit of a note for each GM for the boss room as well. Just so you've got an idea of how I approach that. But, for the most part, this loadout makes it really easy to get through the GM. Like, champions are not a problem with this. You divinity it, and the champion just dies. It falls over. The only thing you've got to make sure is, obviously, that your team is actually communicating with each other. So you're not wasting divinity ammo. You're not wasting linear fusion shots when your champion's regening because you haven't killed it. But divinity, kill the champion, really straightforward. So... Let's talk about the champion mods. No, you don't need a literal caveman weapon to do overloading. You don't need any bows at all. Bow gameplay is... I mean, if you really want to, you can, I guess. If you're having trouble sleeping, then you can maybe equip a bow and that'll perhaps help with that. But for the strike itself, for the GM, you don't need any bows at all. Instead, you can use the pinnacle of human technology to fire an instantaneous stun... Provides a debuff, 30% debuff, and a massive crit spot instead. You get that divinity cage, which makes hitting your shots really, really easy. So even gamers like me can hit consecutive crits. But what if I run out of ammo? I hear you bow apologists start to type. Well, if you are the divinity person, make sure you have a special finisher class item mod equipped. Or at least have someone in your fire team with that mod equipped. And make sure you're communicating with them when you need special ammo. Make sure your teammates are ready to kill the thing you're stunning as well, because that is also good for conserving ammo. And also tap fire when you have to sustain fire on a champion, when your teammates aren't quite ready to kill the thing you're stunning. But for the most part, you don't need to use much ammo to kill a champion. You just stun it, it has the cage on it, you blast it with linear fusions, and then it's dead. For anti-barrier, you can use an auto-rifle this. You don't need more than one. In fact, most of the time, if you're really on point with your divinity and linear fusion shooting, then the anti-barrier weapon is really redundant. Because most of the time, the, the barrier champion will just die before the barrier even comes up. So, if you are going to use an auto-rifle though, and I do recommend it just for safety reasons, just use a auto-rifle with Vorpal weapon, because that helps with uh, destroying the shield quicker. Armor-piercing rounds, that puts another 10% on it. And a good amount of range is nice as well, uh, because auto-rifles don't have the best range compared to, say, scouts or pulses, but you want an auto-rifle with a good amount of range. For unstoppable enemies, you can use the unstoppable fusions mod, or you can have someone run a pulse rifle. I've found pulse rifles to be quite useful for just getting that quick instantaneous stun. You don't need to waste any special or heavy on just getting a stun. I like pulse rifles for unstoppable. You don't, you don't have to run a pulse, you can just run the unstoppable fusions mod. It is quite expensive though, so that's, I'll leave that up to you. As a general rule, you'll want to have your primary weapons be elemental, though, if there's a ton of shields to break in the strike. For example, the Corrupted has a ton of void shields, so you might want to consider running, say, a void pulse rifle for this instead uh, of having a kinetic pulse rifle, for example. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter who runs the primary weapons. Double special is perfectly viable as well, since you're going to be running special finishes throughout the strike. So you can quite easily run a triple fusion 
uh, loadouts, and we've frequently done that as, as well. It's really good to have if you are up close and personal against champions, just to have uh, a fusion rifle like Cartesian coordinates, just to, just to melt it if it's right in front of you. Obviously, if it's at range, then you'll need to use your linear fusions, but for close range, Cartesian or Null Composure, any of the rapid fire fusions are excellent. So you can run triple fusion. It is perfectly viable. Anyway, that is pretty much it. Not really much to explain about this strategy. You just divinity stuff. You blast it with linear fusion rifles. And then at the end of the strike, you pick up your loot. It's really simple. Uh, it feels like I'm kind of selling you a car or something. Or car insurance. But it's really, really easy. I I've I'm really surprised I've not seen it recommended more. And when I, whenever I tune into people's uh, YouTube content or, tr or streams, they're never running this loadout unless they're speed running. And it's perfectly viable if you're getting someone through their first GM or if you're farming or if you're speed running. It's, it's an extremely strong setup for, for GMs this season. If you've got any specific questions about any part of this, I will do my best to answer them in the comments section. Or you can just stop by my Twitch channel and ask me. I'll do my best to answer any questions there as well. The channel link's in the description for that, along with the specific recommended loadouts, uh, which I talked about earlier. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this helps some of you get your clears. Uh, if there's any parts that you're struggling with, like I said, just ask away and I'll do my best to answer. That's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.